Hey, this is John from Bikehood Advisor. Today we're going to go over four signs that might tell you that your saddle discomfort has nothing to do with the saddle. Now I've mentioned many times before that often saddle issues don't have anything to do with the saddle. They have to do with the rest of the fit in general. This is why I usually recommend when people are having saddle trouble to first start with trying to do their best to optimize the rest of their fit before they start substituting in and, and trying new saddles. Um, if you're sure that your position is good, then that's fine. However, it may be a fool's errand. You might be just chasing your tail uh, trying new saddles uh, if your fit isn't really up to par yet. Now, there's a lot couched in all this. This is not a small thing. Your fit is, there's often, there's clearly there's going to be a lot involved. I want to go over four of the more common ways that people end up with saddle trouble when it doesn't have to do with the physical structure of the saddle itself. Okay, so the first sign we're going to look at is when your hips on the saddle, you always feel like you're slipping forward because you find yourself constantly when you're riding, kind of scooting yourself back all the time. So you'll be pedaling and then you'll realize that, you know, your saddle feels a little bit different and people sometimes even can become subconscious and people just start to shift themselves back. Where does this come from? There's a, there's a lot of different causes as you'll find with, with most of these, but it, it, it has to do with the fact that we're not giving the, the, the pelvis a stable place to rest. So now what can cause this? Well, one of the things that can cause it is when the reach of the bike isn't set properly for you. The most, one of the more common ways is when the reach is too long or too low. What will end up happening is, is that the excessive reach will draw the pelvis forward. It'll basically have it tip forward so it's unstable and it's not in its correct position. So it'll slip forward as well and then we have to scoot ourselves back. But this can also happen when the, the, the reach is too short. We're then, we're, again, the pelvis is not sitting in its stable posture, and so it'll have a tendency, because we we're, we're, tend to be a little bit too upright and that pelvis is sitting up too much, it'll kind of slip off the front of the saddle just a little bit and you have to keep pushing yourself back. Another way this can happen, a really common way, of course, is if the saddle tilt isn't set properly. And this is the one that people tend to look at, um, at least with some regularity, but if the tilt isn't set properly for your pelvis, then and the most common is when the saddle is nose down. People often will nose their saddle down when the reach of the bike is too long or too low. So those things kind of go together. With it nose down, you don't have a stable surface uh, because you're basically your saddle is like a ramp and you're just gonna then slide off the front of that ramp. It's important to note that just because a saddle is level as you're looking at the bike, it doesn't mean it's level when you sit on it. So we also have to consider how the saddle acts when we load it. And so testing the saddle and seeing how, what its preferences are for flexing is important too. The last thing we'll talk about here that can cause us to be slipping forward on the saddle like this is, so saddle height can also cause this problem. If, uh, if the saddle is too high, if it's, and we're reaching just a little bit, and sometimes it doesn't even look too high, but if the saddle is a little bit too high, often as we're riding, um, we can maintain a good position on the saddle for short periods, but eventually if it's a little too high, let's say even for our flexibility, we will gravitate to the center of the saddle because that actually shortens our reach to the pedals just slightly. Um, and we'll have to then scoot ourselves back. But the same thing can happen when the saddle is too low. It happens for a different reason though, is because we don't have the right amount of weight on our feet. That makes us a little less stable than through our pelvis. And then all the same things start to happen. So if you're having hand issues and saddle issues, you want to look to potentially the reach uh, or the handlebar position uh, as, as a starting point, because when the reach, again, when it's not optimized, what's going to happen, whether, even whether it's too long or if it's too short, uh, too high or too low, what it will do is not have then the, the hips or the pelvis in a stable position or in its, in its preferred position. Where it can uh, where it can generate power and it can sit in a stable way. And the most common uh, display of this is, of course, when the reach is a little bit too long. That's going to draw the pelvis forward, um, and we're going to have extra hand pressure uh, because the pelvis isn't taking the weight; it's rolling forward, and so the weight has to go somewhere, and it's going to go to the hands. As you'll see in a lot of these issues, a lot of these signs, all of these problems are caused by improper weight distribution. Most people, uh, I should say, a lot of people that have saddle discomfort, they also have hand discomfort as well. And now it's no mystery as why that happens. Okay, the third sign 
that uh, your saddle isn't the problem necessarily, is if you have knee pain. Knee pain is really common, and with saddle discomfort, knee pain is also exceptionally common. And where it comes from, again, is we often have saddle, if the saddle is too low, that means we don't have the proper extension at the bottom of the pedal stroke. When that happens, we're not bearing weight effectively through our feet and through the entirety of the pedal stroke. And because we're not bearing weight on the feet, that weight has to go somewhere. So it's going to go to the hips or it's going to go to the handlebars, usually both. But when we put more weight on the hips, it requires more stability. And that's the problem, but also it's just more weight. And so more weight leads to more friction, more pressure, more compression. And uh, that leads to discomfort. So the final sign we're going to talk about is when you have any type of foot or toe numbness, uh, hot spots, discomfort, tingling, uh, and this can even translate into Achilles issues, heel pain, and even up into the calf. This is These are all symptoms that may uh, let you know that if you do have saddle discomfort as well, that it, it, is, it may not just, again, it may not just be the saddle. So the most common mechanism behind this is poor cleat placement. When the cleat is is not in the right place, what we're ending up doing is it can inhibit, again, weight bearing through the feet. When we inhibit the weight bearing through the feet, that weight has to go somewhere. It goes to the hips. And then it, again, requires more stability and on and on. We have the same cycle happen. But I also see this happen when um, we have the saddle uh, height misplaced. If the saddle is too low, what can happen, again, it goes back to all those same things. It doesn't allow us to bear weight properly. And so what we people tend to do, the reason this can cause foot trouble, though, is because when we're not bearing weight properly, it can make the foot sort of seek stability. And so what some people tend to do is they will default, even when their saddle is too low, they'll default to a more toe-down posture, again, on average, through their pedal stroke. When you're more toe-down... One, you're, you are putting more pressure to the forefoot, and that's where some of the, the toe and, and forefoot discomfort comes from, and even where some of the Achilles and calf problems can, can come from. But what this does is we're seeking stability through the foot and through the ankle by doing this, uh, because this might feel more stable than being here. Uh, and yet what happens is it, it actually uh, decreases, again, the amount of weight that we're taking through the feet because of that foot posture. But this can also happen when the saddle is too high. When the saddle is too high, we can default to this toe-down posture to ease the reach to the pedals, and all the same things happen. So I'm sure you noticed there were some themes through that as far as uh, the fit goes. Balance is hugely important. Uh, weight distribution, those two things kind of go hand in hand. They're really one and the same. A lot of times if you just spend a little bit of time testing one piece at a time, trying a few different you know, small changes and testing it out, a lot of times you can get to the bottom of these things. So that's it for this one. Thanks, guys, for hanging in there. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Uh, check out some other videos, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks.